Hi parents, it's Miss Debbie with the Appomattox Regional Library System. And today I have a cute Christmas DIY for you. This is a great craft for little kids, but it's also a really fun craft for your older kids. As you can see with my tween son doing it right here. The only thing you really have to do is make the tree for this craft. And to do that, you're gonna wanna start by finding the center of the bottom of a piece of cardboard. You wanna go about three inches from the top just so you have a little bit to cut off. And then you're gonna to wanna to go about an inch down. Now we're doing this on the back of the cardboard so it's perfectly fine if you need to redraw your tree a couple of times just to get it perfect. And once it's perfect, you can go ahead and cut it out. You can use box cutters or scissors. If you're using scissors, I recommend cutting a little bit and then going in from the side and cutting a little bit off there, just so you don't have excess, excess cardboard hanging on and making it hard to cut. Once you have your tree completely cut out, it's time to make the fun geometrical lines going through your tree. If you have younger kids, you probably will need to do this step too. But if you have older kids, you can go ahead and let them put the tape on the tree. I recommend just laying it on nice and smooth and as many or as few lines as you want. Now it's time for the setup. I gave each of my kids their own palettes. I used a lot of different shades of green and I threw a little bit of blue on there as well just to give it some depth and some bring a little bit of a different color into the tree. And I left the colors unmixed with just a little bit of green and blue on top, just so the kids could mix it as they go. And it made a really pretty color on one of the panels of their tree. My kids are older, so they did each of their panels, their trees, a different color. But with younger kids, it'll probably be more sporadic and even look a little bit cooler when you take off the tape. You're going to want to let your child color the entire tree except for maybe that little bit at the bottom, and you might want to go in later and color that a different color. My oldest both left theirs blank, but my youngest didn't understand the instructions and colored it all the way down to the bottom, which still looks super cute. Now I'm going to show you how to make some decorations for your tree. To start with, we're going to do a star. To make a star, you're going to start by shaping it around a star cookie cutter, or shaping it yourself, but I really found using a cookie cutter was a lot easier. Then you're gonna just loop all the excess back around the star and then slide it back on the cookie cutter just to reshape it. Now I'm gonna show you how to make Christmas bulbs. What you're gonna wanna do is wind the pipe cleaner around itself multiple times and then shove the last little inch through and just give it a nice little crimp at the end to keep it together. And to make a candy cane what you want to do is twist two pipe cleaners preferably red and white around each other and then form it into a candy cane and give it a little snip you should get two candy canes for each two pipe cleaners now to decorate your tree what you're going to do is lay out your decorations on your tree and just play with it change it up a little bit and once you're happy with it go ahead and glue it down You'll wanna leave your tree to dry flat until it is completely dry, and then you can hang it around your house or put it in a playroom for a cute festive decor. Have a great weekend.